Hi everybody, back again with another video on how to prep uh, your room to be painted. So this is what you'll need. Okay, come down a little bit so we can see. There we go. Okay, we'll need a bucket of mud, drywall mud, all-purpose uh, drywall mud. Um, you'll need a couple of putty knives. You'll need a one inch putty knife, a duster brush, an old uh, cutting brush that's now a duster brush, and you'll need uh, one inch frog tape. And this stuff is good stuff, frog tape. As long as you uh, prep your trim and get all the dust off and, and uh, dirt, it will stick well and have a nice sharp crisp line. So let's get started. Let's go down here. Guys, this is my room. Okay, so what we want to do first is, okay, make sure you get a good shot here. You want to dust off your base, get all that dust off. And then you want to start with uh, peeling your tape. So you want to get, you want to peel a little bit off. Uh, that's about a foot or so. And you want to keep tension on this side with your thumb and pull with this, with your other hand, so you can get it in there. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to place it the edge of your tape right on the base where the wall uh, and the corner meet on the base. Are you getting a good shot there, Addy? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so you just want to take it and every, I don't know, six inches or whatever you feel comfortable with, as long as you can keep it straight on your base. that far and then you want to use your putty knife your one inch putty knife and you want to put it in the between you know in the corner of your tape and the wall and push down and run it down the wall to push it down and make give you a nice crisp line you want to do that all the way around the room so just quickly Get all this taped up. So you want to put it in the corner. Uh, use your finger if you want and push while you're going along. And meet up with your finger to your thumb. And now once you get into a corner where you got one of these uh, cold air returns, I uh, push down in the corner with my knife. And position with the other side. Get straight so it's not riding on the wall. It's just on the lip of the cold air return, just on this edge, not on the wall, just on the edge of the, on the base. And my duster brush, dust the base off, bring this down. run your knife along the edge of that frog tape to give you that nice crisp line that you see in the commercial because if you don't if you just press it down with your finger it won't be a good enough edge and you'll have paint bleed beyond belief okay so we want to see if I can squeeze through here Abby you can come in closer here okay dust I'm doing Abby's room first because she likes to make lots of damage on her walls. No, I don't. I've already been through and have repainted this room already. So just in the corner, try to get it. You're going to have to repaint this butt over here, Abby. because how dirty it is. Okay, see. Okay, move it over. Get in real close. Into here, yeah. Let's see. You really don't want any of that white showing right in the corner. And 
press down with your one inch putty knife or mudding knife. I like to call it putty knife, even though it's not putty. Oh, dust a brush, please, Abby. Okay, you getting a shot over here? Yep. Okay. Thanks for being my camera person. And dust. So this is just doing a repaint. Normally when I'm in a brand new house, I would have uh, all this sprayed up, all the trim sprayed. Walls here. So pull some. Keep tension on your on your tape. Place it and just keep tacking it down. Abby. Oh, it turned on. It turned by itself. It did? Yeah. Had to wield. Okay, make sure you're getting this. Are ya? Yep. Okay. So after we're coming down on the last few walls after you have it everything all taped. I just taped the base. I don't tape around the trim. You can tape around the trim if you like. Uh, it's the same principle as taping this base. Make sure you uh, keep tension on your on your tape while you're working your way down the trim, and uh, make sure that you flatten your trim down with your putting knife or your tape down with your putting knife after. Get that edge. What time were you up till last night, Abby? I accidentally woke up at the middle of the night. I accidentally woke up at the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. And that, and I was supposed to wake up at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Yeah, that's when I had to wake up. What for? Because my dream stopped already. Did it? Yeah. I have demon ghost painting dreams where I'm in in my dream I'm painting in a haunted house and in my one dream that I had a couple of days ago I was just finishing up a job with somebody I don't know who was in my dream with me but it was somebody and it was a demon ghost in the room and we were just finishing up and I was running up the stairs and I could feel it coming up behind me. And then I was going to run out the door and the door shut to go outside. And I was stuck in the house. And I said to the ghost in my dream that, let me out. I am not coming back here anymore. I promise. And uh, the person that was with me was like, yeah, me too. And then the door opened up and it let us out. That was so creepy. I got creepy stupid painting demon ghost dreams okay now after we have our room uh, taped out we want to open up our bucket of mud and this has already been opened and just give it a little oh, it smells gross 
how to just give it a little uh, stir and come and get inside the mud here and stir it up there. Just stir the water up. Oh, that kind of looks like paint. And then just take your what's on your putty knife, your putty knives. Come on, get a shot of this, Abby. You want to take your knives and you want to just give them a uh, clean the one side off on your muddy knives. You mean putty knife? Yeah. Put, make sure you put the lid back on your mud or it will dry out and you'll be wasting money. Yeah. And um, you'll probably be poor by now. Yeah. Okay, come in the room. So then what we want to do is we want to look at the walls for nicks and damage. So can you see this here? Mm -hmm. The little piece right there. So what you want to do is you want to paint it. You get some. Or you can a use noodles. Bit of mud on your knife. Or you can use um um noodles. No. To like fill it up. And, and then you want to press and drag it on your. I think you're putting more damage on my wall. <laughs> see that crack? You want to press your mud into the hole. And smooth it out. You don't want a big. You don't want like a big mess like like this because because that that's going to be hard to sand. Okay, so hold the camera, Abby. I know. Because then it will look like a light when someone so comes in. So you want to go all the way down and look for all the damage in, on your walls. Come down here, Abby. Follow me. So a nice thin uh, coat of your drywall mud on your patch. So it's really easy to sand. It's it's better to sand. Don't. It's better to sand and patch uh, multiple times than it is to sand a big, huge, heavy patch, right? So you want to make sure that you want to get all your damage. Scrape it if you have to, and if it's, always make sure you keep one knife always clean. Well, I, I'm always doing this. I'm always tossing my mud on the knives, just to keep it always fresh and just to always clean off the one side. Right here. There's black spots. No, those are just rubs. Those oh. will easily paint over. So the reason why I'm repainting their rooms now, or I would wait until later, is our house is up for sale, so... Yep. If you guys want to get it, then... Just get it. <laughs> yeah. Because we have, like, a sign at our house, and that will let you guys know that um, that's our house. See, so something like that, since you put the mud on and you see it protruding out, you just want to take the corner of your uh, mudding knife and just press. Just make like a circle to, to make a little dent, and then it's easier to fix like that. See? And then you don't have then you won't have to multiple patch this more times and sand it. Hopefully I'm describing everything enough for everybody. The only reason why I'm making these videos is because I'm not much of a talker, so the more I can't even put together two sentences, two words sometimes in a sentence, let alone trying to make a video. So this will get me talking more. So we just want to go around and... That wasn't a fart, it was my foot. Yeah. That's my air mattress. Don't do that or else um, your um, socks probably will make a hole and then pop my air mattress. Yeah. And then oh, I'm gonna... more damage. 
damage, 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 damage. You want to make sure you take all the pictures off the wall and yeah. all that, the tacks. This is the only picture that I have in my room, guys. My grandma gave it to me, and it's just a sign, so you guys know who it was from. I'm seven still, so happy birthday, Abby. Love from Grandma Michelle. X O X O. Okay, everybody, come up here. So here's where Attack was. It was holding up pictures, so you yep. just want to push that in a little bit. Give it a scrape, get that edge, knock that edge off. Clean putty knife. Patch. Abby likes lots of stuff on her walls. Yeah. Except for cracks. I only like um, pink paint or purple or blue paint on this. So if um I have like um a new room. room. When we move and I have a new room, I want my um, room color to be like purple on my roof and blue on the right um, over where um, here is. And um, over here, even my door, um, pink, like bubble gum pink. And I like dark pink, I mean dark um, purple over my roof. And then, um, light, um, blue, frosty color. Yeah. Because those are my favorite colors. Just go around and just patch all your holes. Pretty straightforward. Just make sure it's not a big, heavy patch. Not too thin either. You know, it's got to be the right consistency. Painting, painting is an art. It's not, it's not easy. Coming down to the end of Abby's room here. And I think that's it. That's all for my room. Now I'm sure that you know you will miss some patches. It's nothing to go around after uh, you have a coat of paint on the wall and it's dry, of course. And if you see a ding or a mark that you had missed when you were uh, going around doing this the first time, not a problem. Just go around and, you know, after the paint's dry and just patch it and let it dry and sand it. And then two coats of paint over top. Perfect. So let's see how much damage is all in your room here. Can I have the camera? Yep. So this is what we did. We went around here. One. I think I forgot some on this wall here. I didn't go around here. Nope. Oh, right here. Okay, hold the camera. Yeah, make sure you get all the walls. It's easy to forget some stuff when you got uh, furniture piled up in the middle of the room and you know and you got your daughter distracting you. And or if she's like, um, whatever age, um, except for a teenager and older, just like me. Okay, let's go to Gage's room. Let's do some yeah. patching in there. Yep. But what if the video stops? It won't stop. Why? I've already been in here and had patched some in his room. I gotta take this room still. I'll do that after the video is over. Let's do some more patching. Here's a nail pop. 
Oh, that's a lot of paint. Yeah. We need some more. Oh. <laughs> Dad, do you know what that looks like on that dirty knife? What? It looks like shaving cream. Yeah. I, <laughs> I felt shaving cream before, and it's very soft. I know. It's foamy. Yeah. It's made out of foam. <laughs> So if you see anything that you can't be patched, and like a bump or whatever, just take your putty knife and just scrape it off the wall. It will come off. Make sure you don't gouge and dent the wall. You have to make sure you have uh, equal, even pressure on your putty knife to scrape. You don't want to be, you know, off this way or off this way, straight on the wall, or you will gouge it. See, I started making a video here by myself on taping, but then my uh, tripod stopped working. I got this mochismo tripod. Where did I put it? Mochis. Mochismo. Mm -hmm. My dad likes being silly, and he always says swear words in front of me and my brother Gage. Who just want us to say swear words when we grow up? I don't want to say swear words. Get the walls looking like brand new. You mean brand opening? <laughs> Just like um, I'm in grade one and my teacher, Mrs. Schleich, she wants to keep our um, words their way containers um, nice and um, beautiful so they look new too. That's really white. It kind of burned my eyes, JK. <coughs> well, probably it does, because they just coughed. Huge, 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 huge. So when you got streaks in your mud like this, that means you have your mud, your mudding knives are contaminated. I contaminated my mudding knives over there when I was scraping the uh, this off here. So what we need to do is we'll just take this off. Are you gonna use the rest of that? Yeah, I'm just gonna scrape this off over here, Abby. I'm just gonna keep this right here like this. Try not to get it contaminated. Just use the fresh stuff. We like to eat fresh stuff. Not rotten stuff. Well, I kind of like to eat rotten stuff. You do? Because one time I ate rotten, ca rotten carrots Are you before. At the, at the wall here, Abby? Where's yep. the camera pointing? At the ground. Ha ha ha, Gage got wrecked. You just got wrecked, Gage, if you're watching this. You just got wrecked, Gage, if you're watching this. <sighs> That takes care of all the stuff that's down low and all up high. All up high. Look how dirty the walls are here. I don't know if you can see see this, but there's handprints all over the place. I know. My my brother's so tall, but he's not 14 or something. He's only 11. But next March, wait, what's Gage's birthday again? In March. But what number? Seven. Oh, and on the on the next March 7, that's my brother's birthday. He's gonna be 12, and the next March um, 7, he's gonna be 13, and next March um, 7, he's gonna be, um, what did I just say? Okay, now after 14. you've done all your patching, mm -hmm. and you got some mud left over on your knife there, just take it and put it back in your, in your bucket. And make sure the lid's closed. 
And that's the end of our video. Bye. Make sure you like and subscribe and press that notice notification bell. Bye.